What's going on guys and gals, it's Dragon Hunter King back again for our Duel Links content video and today we're jumping in with a pretty interesting deck. I don't know how well it's going to actually work here now, I don't know. Um, it is, and it's going to be, we're going to be using gadgets today. Um, we're not going to be just using any old typical or regular gadget deck, we're going to be combining them with the new kind of ancient gear support. That's obviously not going to see much play outside of maybe like this deck. Um, but we are going to be trying this ancient gears stuff today and um, with the new dragons and um, one of the old ones but yeah this is kind of the deck that i've got rocking with today so a little bit of an interesting deck kind of a interesting concoction i guess of cards um, but bear with me here so for the deck that we're going to be using, using two green gadgets two red gadgets one yellow gadget um yeah uh two uh ancient gear G gadgetron gadgetron G gadgetron dragon <laughs> one ancient gear hydra and one inch of gear wyvern or wyvern sorry wyvern 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 i don't know why i said wyvern two cousin cyclones one gear tan one inch of gear fortress one of rivals two pulse mines and two metal hold the moving blockade which is a really fun uh interesting card that i want to try out so yes this deck interesting indeed it's it's combining a lot of the new it's i'm combining sort of like I'm trying to combine the new gadgets cards but with the new dragon because this is a really cool card and I, a lot of people aren't really looking into it I suppose I understand why people aren't exactly looking into it as it's not the best card in the world um but it's it's cool so it's basically this card attacks your opponent can activate any spells chops until the end of the damage step now that's good apart from the fact except for Sirik Rebo which screwed me over it's Sirik Rebo screwed me over in the uh, uh ancient the ancient gear Two ancient gear uh, golem deck. I don't know if I if that duel's in it or not. I don't know if I lost that duel, but I know I remember dueling with that deck and getting screwed over because of that card. Because it's Rick because you can't you can still activate monster effects. That's there, that's fine. This card gains the appropriate effects if you normal summon by tributing these monsters. Green gadget this card's attacks, defense, fish, monster, inflict piercing. Red gadget if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, inflict 400 to your opponent. Yellow gadget if this card is destroyed opponent's monster by battle, inflict 600. So, the best cards that you're probably going to want to go for, or the best ones you want to use, I suppose the best, the ones you're looking for is going to be green gadget or yellow gadget. Red gadget's cool, has a cool effect there, but I think hopefully you're going to go for the OTK. I mean, um, maybe not, maybe red, red gadget will be cool, but green gadget will be really nice for the piercing on your opponent's monsters, uh, which is actually going to be kind of clutch. So yeah, that's kind of what we're rocking with today. Uh, I am kind of just fiddling with my audio settings as we record this vid. Uh, hopefully it's fine. If my if I peak and go down in volume, you'll know why. Shouldn't troubleshoot like this during a vid, but I don't want to blow your ears off either. <laughs> so, uh, gadgets. Gadgets are not too anything too special, but they are cool. I like them. Um, so red gadget, when this card's normal special, means you can add one yellow gadget for your deck to your hand. So that's going to be nice. Green gadget uh, will let you add a... Same effect will let you add a red gadget, and then yellow will let you add a green gadget. I understand that we have the consistency with the two greens and two reds, but no, only one yellow, which could potentially screw us over. But as you can see, I've got one yellow. I've I have three reds and three greens. Don't know. Don't know why this box. I don't know why the box screwed me over like that. I didn't get my second yellow. I was my second yellow was in the last twenty packs. I didn't get it because I was trying to pull Necrovelli. Necrovelli. I think it was ne or the Necrovelli or Necrovelli's Throne, one of the others, and I pulled up, and I had it reset, so I had it so, you know, when I'll, no ultras left in the box, it resets, so I didn't get to pull my yellow, but that's fine. Um, Hydra, and this card's, this card's not new, this card's been in the deck since, been in the game since the Injigear Structure deck, but this card's tribute, done by tributing a gadget monster, it can attack all monsters your opponent controls, once each. If a Injigear monster controls, your opponent can activate spells, traps, and monster effects until the end of the damage step. So that's good. Um, and we have Ancient Gear Wyvern, which is just going to be special, nothing special is for Gear 10 and Fortress. I decided to use one Gear 10 and one Fortress because I kind of wanted to just have it, the one structure deck. If you want, if you wanted, you could have the one structure deck, just a thousand gems, no money. For consistency, I mean, at the end of the day, you probably don't need either of these cards, but Gear 10, I'm going to be using Gear 10 for its first initial intended use, is built by a normal summon Ancient Gear Monsters for one less tribute. So. You know, this guy's a 7 star, this guy's a 6 star in a way, I guess you could say. Not really, but it's one less tribute for each, and I think that's kind of handy. 
and your fortress is going to be nice so it can't target me. Um, we're not going to be destroying a ranger gear fortress or thing to summon an ranger gear because that would defeat the purpose of uh, both of these guys. And I think that's you know, pointless. Um, so yeah, then we have rival rivals so we can go for one of these during the battle phase. And then we have pulse mines as defense. Um, and then we have Metal Hold, which is activate this card by targeting any number of level 4 machine monsters you control, so any of the gadgets. Especially when this card is an effect monster, it's a level 4. Equip those face of monsters to this card, this card is also still treated as a trap. If it's a special summon this way, this card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped to it by this card. This effect of monsters, your opponent controls cannot target any monsters you control for attacks except this one. That's nice. And also, your opponent gonna target monsters you control with card effects, except this one. This is a this is a boss boy. This is actually a boss monster in a way. It's not gonna be useful for some of these guys, but it will be useful for getting us over the win and saving our lives. So that's gonna be it for the deck. Another long intro aside, like yesterday in Element Savers, um, we are gonna go ahead and jump in with the first duel. Okay, so let's go in with the first duel. Uh, so yeah, I know I said yesterday in my in the thing the 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 the. the, the and the tapers video that my audio was kind of fixed it's not it's actually i found it when i was editing that vid today um i'm editing you're seeing element tapers yesterday but i'm editing that vid that element tapers vid today or yesterday as well so you know for while breaking um my audio is still kind of low in that vid but i think i have it good now um so yeah Ooh, not the best hand in the world but it's okay Let's activate yellow gadget and we're gonna have green gadget around. We also have set that in a pulse mine. So we also have we don't have to like it the whole purpose of this, the main goal of this vid doesn't have to be using the ancient gears, it's just kind of mainly using the mainly using the um the gadgets. And that's kind of who we're going for here. Um but yeah. Uh, okay. Let's draw ourselves a card, and we're gonna draw Ancient Gear Fortress. Uh, that's not bad. Um, all right, let's normal summon you. Green gadget. Just gonna let us add red gadget to our hand. So now we can go for Hydra during our next turn. We should be able to keep him alive. Um. I'm not gonna. Do we want to end or see? Drowning Mirror Force is. You know what? I'm gonna put this in defense vision. Drowning Mirror Force is gonna s screw us over here. Let's just attack in. See if Drowning Mirror Force is a thing. Drowning Mirror Force is not a thing. Uh, we should be able to go for broke. Uh, with Ancient Gear Fortress and everything, we should be able to go for broke next turn. Uh, absolutely, because we can't. We won't be able to target us any. Okay. Secure that's fine. If we have pulse mines. Um But yeah, I think we're good. I think we're actually good for this one. I think we have the win. We can attack. Uh we can attack all their all its monsters at once. Um Chigger Fortress, which is fine because we're not targeting. It doesn't matter about Ancient Gear Fortress. Um Uh, and then pulse mines, pulse mines, it's fine. And we're gonna pulse mines you. We're just gonna end our turn. I think we got the win. I think we actually have the win here. Um, I believe. I believe so. Uh, so we're gonna activate ancient gear fortress. Right, Earl Wyvern, uh, Wyvern. We're gonna tribute this two monsters. It's two monster tribute, so we're gonna tribute our two ancient gears uh, for ancient gear Hydra. And we're gonna activate V down. We don't need to, but it's there. And uh, we're going to. Can I attack again? I can't attack again. But we did do that. Um, so he doesn't have anything. I think we've we've won. We can just attack directly. We don't need to. Do anything with any of that cheese? I don't think so. Anyway, no, I don't think so. Unless he has a, unless he has a um, a uh, what you call it? 
Unless he had us for a Kriva, which he didn't, so that's fine. We win. That's pretty good. Alright, guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump in with the second duel. Feeling somewhat confident. Um I don't know how well this is how well we're gonna keep going, but it's it's okay. It might be the first sexy kind of concoction of a deck that I've made that's not completely terrible. Um but it's it's fun. It's a bit of fun. It's just here for a bit of fun. We are going first, which sucks. It's not good for us. Um, that's okay though. Uh, with a hand like this, it's not too great. I mean, it's okay. It's a hand's not bad. It's just we need to like really draw kind of something that we need. And our turn pulse mines is gonna be here with us. Um, okay. Okay. Pulse mines. Um, I don't. <sighs> Probably doing that's fine. Ooh, vampires. It's vampires. Okay. I see you, big dog. Uh, what do we want though? That's the question is, what do we want? That worked. That's good. That's gonna be real good. Uh, we're gonna summon red gadget. Now. I'm worried a little bit here though. Uh, you'll get it. I am going to actually slide, I think, you into defense position. And should I even attack? Should I attack? Because if I attack, he can special summon something from the grave. I'm not going to attack. I'm actually not going to attack. Because I don't want him Vampire Kingdom me or Vampire Familiar. He might still be able to do stuff anyway, so I might have screwed myself over by, I screwed myself over by doing that. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Although now if he goes into this kind of crap, then never mind. We're good. All right, we're real good. We're sitting pretty, and we can do it. Okay. So first things first, let's do this. Uh, so we have piercing, which is cool. We actually have piercing. Hello. I'm not. Don't surrender, dude. I'm not. Don't. It's not your typical reactor dragon beat down. Crap, it's a fun gadget deck. It's a fun gadget deck. Okay, it was a fun. I wanted I, I wanted to do it. I really did. I wanted to do it to him. I'm s I know you, I understand how you feel about. Ah, oh, God damn it. I understand how you feel about integer decks. I get it. I understand what people are not like seeing them and everything like that, but come on. Oh well. That's fine. <laughs> Baby dragon, why the hell? Um, that's fine. That's okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> let's go in with the third duel then. Okay, so let's go in with the third one. That's fine. I'd be lying if I wasn't slightly upset. Uh... Um, I wouldn't be... I miss if I wasn't a little upset. Um, I mean, we got the wins, that's okay, but like, it's such a cop out when you get the win by the surrender. Usually it's funny when you get surrender win, but that time I actually really wanted to. Okay, so this. This is interesting. This is really interesting. Um, uh, it's, the problem is, it's going first. It's, I don't understand, if, I don't really not understand, but I don't know if going first with this hand or going second would have been better. <sighs> so you know what would make gadgets even better is if you normal summon a gadget, you could then special summon said gadget from your hand. Uh, or I don't know if that would make it less consistent or more consistent, I don't know. Um, actually, I don't know. I feel like having getting two gadgets on the board in your first turn would have been great, but I understand that that's not particularly how it works. We're going to take 200 to the face. Orange at the face? 200 to the face. Uh, sorry, I just dropped something, don't pick it up. Um, crap. Angry got shit. This is not bad, this is okay. Um, now the however. However. Do I want to attack though? That's the question. Do I want to attack or just wait till we get uh, gadget drawn on the board? Or, 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 we slot this thing in defense position. And if we have to use the fortress, then we can. Uh, so let's swing in with this and see what the face down is. Okay, let it happen. 
that's cool. Now we have Gadgetron ready to go. Or whatever his name is. I, I don't quite get it. I'm just gonna make my own names, okay? I can't, pr <laughs> when I can't pronounce a card name. Let's make up my own. And so we can go for this, our big boy, and go for him next turn. Uh, of course, we are reversing some people. We're reversing people with not the most meta decks in the world, which is what I look forward to, but I understand people don't find that sometimes a bit of a cop-out because they're like, oh, you're forcing, you must fight these, you fight these decks all the time, or I wish I fought these decks all the time. I get that, it's fine. Um, if you're low, that's fine. It's just, um, I don't really mind too much. I wish I had, um, so green gadget, the f piercing, and red gadget, this might actually rework, red gadget kind of comes in clutch. Now I'm worried about this back row a bit, but this is my first time using Gadgetron. Um, put this on, I guess. It's not floodgate, so we know that much. It's not a floodgate. And um, we did tribute. So, do we gain one of those effects? Or do we gain all those effects? We gain all those effects, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Um, don't get rid of my Gadgetron, please. Fusion Reserve. Re blah, 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 revert. Reserve. This card. <laughs> this card. So, he's gonna do that. He's gonna just pray for Neos. So, he's gonna let him add a Neos to his hand. Just whatever. I think it matters all that much. I don't really care now because now it's like. Let's see what it is. We're gonna slot in and we're gonna. Boom. Yep, we gain both of those effects. That's cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. That's pretty a pretty neat effect. Miracle draw. That's cool. Um, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Um, I think. We're kind of sitting pretty. I think. Um, why doesn't Jaden have a line with Pot of Greed? Because he used Pot of Greed in the anime, I'm pretty sure. In the show, like, I'm pretty sure he used it. I don't know, though. I've seen GX, like, th two times? I can't remember. Uh, but we win. We pretty much just win now, I think. Um, although with a face down, like, something like Econ, he can activate before he... Before we goes in. Could suck. Cosmic Cyclone, so maybe we can kind of force it and see what it is. I'm moving like I, I don't know if I want to summon anything. Well, no, Fusion Reserve is in the grave, so that's no treacherous. So we might as well just summon a gadget, honestly. Opponent cannot target any monsters you control. Also, your opponent cannot target monsters you control card effects except this one. So I think we should just blockade then. Uh, blockade it. Change our gadget out for a blockade so he can't target me. Why not, you know? Keep the Gadgetron safe. And yeah, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Hopefully that should be it. Uh if it's econ, it's fine. Um I can swing in and attack, it won't matter. Um and Wellheart. And I win. <laughs> cool. Alright. So I decided to go against the, f not against, but decided not to do the fourth duel. I think we're just going to leave it, um, honestly. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, it was fun. It was really, really fun. I had fun today. It was, it's not the most consistent thing in the world. I get that. It's it's not going to get you much wins, but it is fun. When the wins happen, they're fun. Uh, so I hold you take on it, but I had a lot of fun today with gadgets. Um, not Gadgets are nothing special at the game right now, but they do have a lot of good support in the TCG. So if we ever get those gadgets, maybe could, you know, Maybe could have a place in the meta. Maybe. Probably have to get their future you know, support in the future or whatever, but. Um, yeah, so we just have to wait and see what happens. And yeah. So I had a lot of fun today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Did hit the like button. For you to hit the subscribe button. Um, follow my Twitter, that's down below in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.